What are you saying, YouTube? It's been a minute. Now, you're probably wondering where I've been for the last two, three weeks. The last video I uploaded was a vlog, and you all probably after a uh, install video. So that's what I've got for you today. What I'm doing, I'm installing these side indicators. They're the LED ones that kind of run up, like the newer style ones you get on the Audis and uh, all kind of newer cars. So yeah, we're gonna be frying them on the car today. Uh, the one issue I've got with these is they're not black. So I'm gonna get some tint, I'm gonna spray them up, spray them black, and throw them on the car. Now, where have I been for the last two to three weeks? I've actually been helping a good friend of mine and a rapper from the UK called Morel. He started a YouTube channel, um, so I've been helping him kind of produce the YouTube channel. I also produce music on the side, so I've been helping him and a few other rappers produce some music. Um, if you're into your kind of UK hip hop, your kind of chill hip hop stuff, definitely give him a give him a listen. Here's a little example now. Anybody you truly miss me, I've been on a hiatus. I had to go back to the basics. So if you're interested in anything else I've been doing, music wise, uh, a lot of it will be with Morel. So definitely go and check him out. Give him a subscribe, help him push his YouTube channel a bit. Um, I was on shoot for a music video on his, actually doing a little bit of acting, which I haven't done before, but. That'll be out soon, I'll definitely throw that out. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing, uh, follow mine stuff here, you will see some kind of music production stuff, or car stuff, all the stuff I'm doing day to day. Also, give Morel a follow, all his details in the description. And on the back of this video, his uh, latest single will be will be planned. So if you like it, give him a listen. It should do a little wet. It should do a little wet. So these are the current indicators, they're a bit, actually look a little bit tatty, but um, they're just your box standard, lamp indicator they're not led i'll put them on so yeah bog standard indicator so my plan is to get a flat screwdriver wrap some tape around it if that focuses uh just so you don't do any damage and then use this as a prior to kind of get it off oh dear how about the fear keep on switching gears we don't know if we will make it a career but for now we're all still here we were made to make music, that's no doubt We keep it underground, but it still feels like there's a drought I'm kicking the freestyle, whipping and hitting it the beast world If you can't see, you must be seen now yeah, it's been Simplest testing. install in the world Literally, just throw these back on Now what I'm going to do first, before I spray these black I'm going to test that they work I think they might be polarity sensitive Because they're LEDs well, we like the There's one I'm not going to properly push them in, I'm just going to Leave them kind of like that. The basics, right back to where it started. Right, let's uh, let's turn them on. Look how nice they look. And that one is also working. I don't know what way I want them chasing. That way, or. I think I want them chasing that way. Another cool thing about it is when you unlock your car. So unlock. Yeah, every time you unlock your car, your uh, indicators go off. So these will now do a little chase. So now the plan is that they all work. Just gonna quickly install the old ones, go to your car parts, buy some black spray tint, spray these up, install them properly and then be done with it. But for now, I'm gonna throw these ones back on just for the drive to Euro car parts. So I'm just popping to Euro car parts now to get some spray, the tin spray. I'm going to a meet tonight, so I wanna to sort, to sort out a few little niggly bits just for the meet. So I wanna get the car washed and I wanna get the halos rewired because I haven't had the halos, uh, you know, the little hog, or the hog, the, uh, fog halos that sit over the, the fog lights. I haven't had them working in probably like two months just because they haven't been rewired up from when I took the battery off and I think uh, the connection needs rewiring. So what I'm gonna do is rewire them up today. And I'll, I'll show that on video as well. Then uh, get the car washed and then yeah, time for a meet tonight. It's uh, quite a local meet as well that I didn't know went on. Uh, it's right next to my work, which is a bit mad. So I'm gonna go over there tonight and uh, yeah, I'll get a few clips of some nice cars, but that'll probably be in a separate video uh, next week. So install video today, and the video of the meet probably later on in the week or next weekend. So this is the uh, 
spray I've got. I only want to put a light tint on them. I don't want them too dark because I kind of like the uh, brightness of the LED as it sweeps. I don't want to kind of impair that too much. So I'm probably going to do one coat. First of all, we're going to mask off these connectors. So these connectors here, just so that none of the paint gets on them and causes a bad connection. I dig deeper, but I'm still in search. I feel like an AK this way. And then it's time to create another makeshift spray booth. So you'd have done like spiders. Look at the size of this bad boy. Woo! Here, yeah, big boy. So that spray can. Oh. Even I don't like that. Now, it wouldn't be a J-Mono video without a botched J-Mono spray booth. So I've got these strung up on my garage door. Just so I can get around them without having to hold them and they've got kind of like the space for the spray to, to apply. And it is quite far away from my car. I know I've had people uh, have a little, a little moan before when I've been spraying quite close to my car, but it's not too close. And uh, I'll make sure no spray gets on it, hopefully. just ain't working. There was a little ring there stopping it from uh, from spraying. I was being stupid. So I hit the studio and drop another verse. My girl tells me that I do it after I have the final words. And if the verse ain't perfect, I'll just delete it. Now we get to uh, let that dry. I'll just show you the kind of the amount I actually tinted it. So as you can see there, they are tinted quite nice. Not too much. You can still see the LED line through it. And it just it just looked nicer with um with the black gel that I've got already on it. They recommend five minutes, I've left it for 20 minutes. They're looking nice man, it's a little bit more tinted than I kind of thought it would be. Maybe I laid it on too much, but let's get them down. Let's get them on the car. You know what though? Now that I've got them out of the light, they actually just look like they've got like a subtle tint. That's what I wanted really. Yeah, I'm well happy with that. Let's get the old ones off and the new ones in. Cause I don't really know myself. So I'm not gonna Oi, hit the camera. I'm not gonna put them in just yet because I want them chasing forward. So to know what way they have to go, I'm gonna uh, hold off. Yeah, that's the way I want. That looks so sick. Look how clean that looks now. As well, now that they're just like a nicer finish compared to the old ones, it makes this just look a lo whole lot cleaner. Just because the other ones look, were looking a little bit tatty. I still think that my favourite thing is that when you unlock it now, you get the, uh, the little swipe. Yeah, that's cool, man. Whoop. Bang. I've been walking round town trying to figure it out I put my tears into this as I watch the minutes tick Plan B, oh shit, I ain't got a plan B, oh shit Oh dear, how about the fear, keep on switching gears We don't know if we will make it a career But for now we're all still here we were made Now I know all you Mark 6 lot, you love copying me of all my mods, didn't you? <laughs> nah, I'm playing with you All the, uh, all the links to to everything I put on my car is in the description basically on the video that I put them on so I'll put the link to the uh, new indicators in the description and the uh, spray sorry in the uh, description so if you want to do this it's all there I think the indicators were 19 pound the spray is 10 pound 29 pound you don't have to do the uh, the tint you could keep them white if you got a, a white car my thing's black and red so I wanted them darker so you could get these done for 19 pounds which is which is sick really they look so much cleaner it gives that new kind of fresh look that all the newer cars have got so yeah now we're going to try and sort out the uh, the halo fog lights for the meet tonight. If you don't uh, follow me on the uh, on Instagram, 
You should get following, man. It's, uh, you keep up to date with everything I'm up to. And you get little sneak freaks of things that might be happening in the future. For instance, me and my main man, Ford Daily, we have got some some kind of plans that might be bringing together the music and the car scene all for charity. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. Give Ford Daily a follow. He's a good lad. He, he's got some uh, some really good car meets going on at the moment. All around the UK. But yeah, we're, uh, we, we've got some big plans. For those of you who have been following for a while and are curious about the power steering relocation kit. That fluid's still nice and red. Nothing wrong with that. Just gonna give it a quick little clean under here, just cause uh, it's looking a little grubby. I've been walking around town trying to figure it out. I put my tears into this as I, I had this issue last time, and what I did, I just uh, basically put a new connector on it, stripped the wire back a little bit. I think the uh, the wire and the connector may have not been connected properly, and it was just causing a few issues. So what I'm gonna do now is exactly the same. I'm gonna take it off, strip it back, put a new connector on, reconnect it, and hopefully that fixes it. So the only connector I've got a bat is a smaller blue one. So I might have to widen these a little bit. Hopefully it works. There you go, I've just made it like a V. So that fit under the battery terminal. I'm gonna quickly check the amp hasn't gone. The amp, the fuse hasn't gone as well. So now I'm gonna replace that just in case. Watch the minutes tip. Plan B, oh shit. I ain't got a plan B, oh shit. Oh dear, how about the fear? Keep on switching gears. We don't know if we will make it. Right. We'll wire it up, plug it in, and then uh, see if it connects to my phone. And hopefully we'll have control of the lights again. All reconnected. Let's hope we get some power to these. Hmm. It's not looking good so far. So I've played around with the wiring for like about an hour. I've redone the earth, I've done the live, I've done, I've changed the fuse. I just can't get them to work. Last time it was uh, the earth wiring, it just kind of, on the end of it, it was just like kind of frayed. And so I basically snipped the end off, put a new connector on and connected it up and it worked fine. I've done that for this one because again, the earth wiring isn't the best. Um, oh yeah, it's just not working. I think, I don't know, it might be faulty. I don't know, I'm not too sure. I'm uh, gonna stop it there anyway, because uh, it's raining. And I can't be asked to uh, continue playing with it. Yeah, they won't be ready for the meet tonight, but oh well, it doesn't matter too much. It has started raining, I don't know if you can see. It keeps like on and off raining. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna clean the car before this meet or not. It does need a little clean. I don't know, hopefully it stops raining and then we'll get it clean. I've already uh, got people hitting me up in the uh, Instagram comments where to get them. It'll be in the description, boys, literally down below. If for anything, whenever I install it on a car, it's always in the description so you can go and find it and uh, throw it on your car. Just gonna munch on this, then I'm gonna basically rewire all the electrics, how it was, uh, test it one last time. If they don't work, they don't work, and we'll uh, leave it at that. Been hit up by an Instagram follower as well. He's saying that uh, these are actually supposed to come backwards, so uh, the chase would be running this way as opposed to forward. I'm gonna keep them like that, I think I like it. It's something a bit different, I guess, if everyone's having them going forward. Uh, backwards, sorry, I'm gonna have mine going forward. He also recommended to put some uh, tape, some electrical tape around the connector so that no more water can get in. It's supposed to be waterproof anyway, but uh, I guess, do you know what I mean, as a safety precaution, maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna do that now off cam. Um, and then I'm gonna put all the electrics back, put everything down and maybe clean the car because the sun's out, it's not raining. When you install these as well, make sure they click into place. So you've got like a lug, like kind of bit on one side that you kind of feed through on the arch and then this side will click into place and when it looks like it's in place give it a nice good push yeah how about the fear keep on switching gears we don't know if we will make it a career all back just one last little test see if uh see if the lights are connect they're not gonna i know they won't nah not happening another day we'll have to figure it out it's gotten quite sunny all suddenly uh, it's been kind of on and off sunny and raining, you know, British weather how it is. Um, I'm off to a meet tonight, so I'm, I'm going to clean the car, even though it might rain, I'm going to clean it. And then I'm going to shoot some videos at the meet. That's going to be a separate video, so this video is just going to be the install, and then maybe next weekend we'll probably have a video of the meet. As I was saying before, go and hit up my main man Morel. His music has been playing in the background of this full video. Like I said, i produced music before. Um, Morel I've been working with for like four or five years. 
and he's really starting to push his stuff so if you guys go and give him a follow go and listen to his stuff that would be wicked and also like i've been mentioning there is some potential future stuff to bring this music and car stuff together so keep an eye out for that it's uh, something that we don't think's actually been done before um but yeah it's uh it's exciting so yeah keep your eye out for that and uh, i'll catch you next time